I prefer to paint like birdhouses instead of nails because it's a larger palette. I think nail art is intense. I don't know how they do the little designs. I don't think I have the attention span for it. I think that if you are good at nail art, you're probably good at all art. People have been doing creative stuff with their nails for a long time, so there are some really inventive, like dope stuff on Instagram and in real life. If I could come away as a person who at least understands how nail polish works, I think that'd be a win. I don't anticipate that I will create a masterpiece on my fingertips, but I do think I'll have fun. So what are we going to be doing here today? We we are going to be learning some intricate nail art. You're like Instagram queen of nails. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> Can I guess how long it took you to Yeah. Do Two hours. Um, it took about an hour and 15 minutes. Do you think that nail art is like a sustainable part of a beauty routine? It's definitely or? a lot, but it's also something that I think if you can find sort of peace or harmony in it or enjoyment, then I think it's worth it. Okay, so first we're gonna take a cotton pad. Oh, you can grab okay, one right over there. Okay, just like at step one, yes. already lost. And I'm gonna have you cover this and push down. Ooh, what is this? It's uh, just nail polish remover. Oh, okay. And then just wipe off your nail. Make sure there's no natural oils and that's all clean. A good rule of thumb whenever you're taking anything out of a brush. Uh -huh. No pun intended. Yeah. Scrape the product off the side of of the brush. And then you take the side with product on it and that's how you start. And I like to start at the base in the middle and just swipe up. It protects your nails from staining. Didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. <laughs> Life is dangerous. This is great tea escape. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> it is 100% called male tears. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's one of my favorites. Tap it against your wrist or palm. That's therapeutic. It is kind of nice, right? Go around the edge of your nail and just make sure that you've got the tip of your nail covered. That looks beautiful. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you the part where I got it all over my <laughs> fingers. We're both gonna use the white as the white for our flowers. And we're gonna pick a medium pink and a dark burgundy color. And we're gonna blop it onto the palette. Oh, a dab. This yeah. That's what the kids are doing these days. We're gonna take the pen and we're going to put it right in between where the color divide is. The thing about me is I have a master's degree in effing stuff up. <laughs> oh my God, my hand's shaking. Uh -oh. oh, I saw that, I was watching it. At this time, I want you to take the flower so that it's sort of on the nail, half on the nail and half off. This is the most art that's ever been anywhere near my hands. <laughs> The worst thing that could happen is you spend hours on your nail art uh -huh. and then you put on your top coat and it smears everything. You have to like basically use the force to yeah. figure out yeah. when your nails are done. So good, so good. So good. So good. Grab a little more. I've never delivered a baby, but I feel like <laughs> it might be kind of like this. I had an incredible time today, but unfortunately, I can only pick one winner. Kristen did a great job. I think she came in and she sort of didn't know what to expect, but she went with the flow. I guess the one thing is maybe the sizing of the flowers. She could have placed them a little bit more intricately on the nail. Despite the shaky hand, I think Devin did a great job. I wasn't sure how one of the flowers was gonna turn out, but we were able to turn it into something really positive. Jen also did a great job. This is really a tough competition. I think that Devin is actually the winner of the nailing it competition. I didn't win. That's absolutely not what happened. You're lying to me. I did a thing. I did a good. They said it couldn't be done, but uh, look what I just done. I feel like I'm still a winner. I feel like this thumb is still a winner. And what's even better is I'm gonna go eat some spaghetti and shrimp after this. So people to know that even though I do not have cool nails, I'm still feminine. Okay. Thank you so much for watching Lady Light. If you'd like to see more of us, click there and subscribe to our channel. Or take off these covers, because none of us are wearing pants. Ow! <laughs>